So in 2013, Matthew Burdick releases a video on YouTube called Poison and the Grapes, which he claims is about alleged corruption at the EPA Region 5 office, uh, specifically regarding the cleanup of the Summit Equipment and Supply Superfund site in Akron, Ohio. Look at my film Poison and the Grapes. I filmed that film over a period of seven days in five different states. I did that travel in a week. I traveled across the country. I, I had the film completed in less than 10 days. One of the claims that Burdick has made about Poison and the Grapes is that it shows him walking into the EPA Region 5 office in Chicago uh, with his cameras rolling and he confronts a corrupt EPA official on camera. I walked right into the fucking Region 5 EPA with my cameras. I have no fear whatsoever. The problem uh, with that is that doesn't actually happen anywhere in Poison and the Grapes. I'm in Chicago today because I'm going to pay a visit to the uh, Region 5 EPA director. I'm going to attempt to. I'm just going to drop in and I just want to make sure that they've been made aware that I've made contact with Mr. Seeley from the EPA and he's not responded. I'm sure that if I talk to them in a nice, respectful way, they'll probably respond with something relatively acceptable for the EPA. But when I went in there, they seem to have no issue with helping me until I mentioned some in equipment and supplies in the Department of Defense. Then oh, I'm going to have to take you downstairs. And I said, are you saying that the EPA doesn't care about whether people are sick or not? Oh, that's that's preposterous. I said, then why are you escorting me out of the building right now? So I just came out of there and I asked a gentleman from the EPA who wouldn't give me his name if he would provide me with access to a community relations officer, or access to David Seeley, the man who won't write back. And he escorted me from the building. He escorted me down to the lobby and outside. At no point do you see the interior of the building. You don't even see him walk up to the door, let alone uh, confront an EPA official on camera. When I show up in your life and I start asking you questions, you want to call the police on me and retaliate against me on film? Do it. Do it. Now, Matthew Burdick most certainly has recorded confrontations with people. Um, a few that come to mind are the hostile video. No, no, I didn't want it. You, you're talking shit. I'm here just to, let's see if you have balls. So you want to fight me now? No, no, no. I'm asking you to fight me because you're talking about ch ch tons of shit on me. The IHOP video. You're physically threatening me right I now. I did. Like the floor, I never threatened you. Oh. And the hitchhiker scene from Blame Reagan. Do it! You got a knife in your hand? I'm going to the police right now and I got it on film. Keep in mind, none of those people were officials in any way. They were just people that um, had the misfortune of running into Matthew Burdick. But I walk into their motherfucking lives with a camera crew running. Them running away and calling the police is not going to look... I mean, actually, that would be the best thing that could ever happen. So I'm filing charges against you when the cops get here. Just letting you know, I'm a national working filmmaker and a journalist. I'm a well-respected person. 